In this video, we are going to look at carbon chains and the three different types of isomers that we can have. So carbon chains that have the same molecular formula, which means they would have the same number of carbon and hydrogen atoms, but different structures, are called structural isomers. There are three main types of structural isomers. Chain isomers, position isomers, and functional group isomers. And I'm going to go through each of those types with you right now. Chain isomers occur when the location of carbon atoms in a chain are arranged differently. This could be due to the placement of branches or length and number of branches in the chain. This results in a different structural shape, but the formula remains the same. So I want you to consider this molecule that I have here. I've decided to leave the hydrogen atoms off because I think it'll be clearer for you to see what's actually going on. But this is an alkane. It has five carbon atoms, making it pentane, if all the other bonds were taken up by hydrogens. The formula for pentane is C5 because it has five carbons and if we filled each of the other available bonds with hydrogens then we would have H12. Now I want you to consider this molecule. This molecule also has one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. Its formula would also be C5 and if we filled all of the available bonds with hydrogen, it would also be H12. The formula is exactly the same, but the structure is different. The atoms within the molecule have been arranged differently. This one is in a straight chain. This one here actually would not be called pentane. The longest single chain it's actually composed of four carbon atoms. The fifth one is actually a branch coming off this carbon atom here. We would actually call that the second carbon atom. This molecule would actually be called 2-methyl-butane because on the second carbon, there is one methyl group on a chain, the longest chain being butane. Now I want you to consider the last one I have here. Again, this particular molecule is made up of five carbon atoms. The formula for this one, again, C5H12. But again, the name of this molecule is different from the last two. The longest chain that we have here would be made up of three carbon atoms. That would make it a propane. On the second carbon atom, we have two methyl groups. So our name for this particular molecule would be 2,2-dimethylpropane. Each of these are called isomers because they have the exact same chemical formula, but due to the rearranging of the atoms from one to the next, they are not the same. Their structures are different. So they are called structural isomers of each other. And these ones are called chain isomers because it is about the location of the carbon atoms within the chain that are different. So it's the rearrangement of the carbon atoms that cause them to be chain isomers. The next type of isomer is called a position isomer. Or position isomerism. This occurs when the basic carbon chain stays the same but the functional group is located in a different position. 
Consider the following molecule. We have four carbon atoms in a straight chain. And we have our functional group, which in this case is our alcohol functional group, our OH, is located on the first carbon atom. If you prefer to look at it like this to say that's the first one, okay, it's located on carbon number one. This particular chain is made up of four carbons and therefore it is going to be butanol, butan one ol because the location of our OH group is located on the first carbon atom. The formula for this molecule is C4H9OH. Now I want you to consider this molecule. This molecule also has a chain of four carbons, but the location of our OH functional group has moved. Its position on our chain has changed locations. And so this molecule here is called butan 2 ol because the location and position of our functional group is on the second carbon atom. The chemical formula for this molecule is also C4H9OH. Now consider this molecule. This molecule is made up of four carbon atoms with an OH functional group. The OH functional group is located on the second carbon on the longest part of the chain. The longest chain here is only three carbons long. On the second carbon, not only does it have the functional group, but it also has a methyl group. This particular molecule is called 2-methyl Probe because we've got three carbons in the longest chain. Propen 2 ol because the functional group, the alcohol part of it, is located on the second carbon. Now, the, the chemical formula for this molecule is also C4H9OH. So the chemical formula for each of these three molecules is exactly the same, but because the position of the functional group has changed from one carbon to another, it has caused the structure of the molecule to be different. Therefore, these are going to exhibit slightly different properties and they're going to behave slightly differently. And this type of isomerism is called position isomerism because the position of the functional group has changed. And the final type of structural isomerism is called functional group isomerism. Functional group isomers occur when a substance has the same chemical formula, but the functional group is different, it has changed. This is possible due to the rearranging of the atoms, so they are bonded together differently. So have a look at these two examples here and I've drawn them out for you as a structural formula because I think it makes it easier to see for these examples as well. So the first one here we have ethanol. Our functional group for this is this OH group, the alcohol group that we also had in the last examples. The, the oxygen is bonded to a hydrogen and bonded to a carbon. The formula for this molecule is c 2 h 6 but now compare that with this molecule. In this particular molecule, the oxygen is not bonded to a hydrogen, and so the functional group is not an alcohol. This particular molecule is not considered to be an alkanol. Even though it has hydrogens and it has oxygen, the functional group here is actually the oxygen that's bonded to the two carbons making this molecule an ether. This particular one is called dimethyl ether because the oxygen is connected to two methyl groups. Since the functional group is different, but the chemical formula is the same, this one is also C2 
H6O, these are considered to be functional group isomers. So just to recap, structural isomers are carbon chains that have the exact same molecular formula but different structures. The three types are chain isomers, position isomers, and functional group isomers.